Hey there smartphone fans, welcome back for another honest hands-on review and today I'm doing something very special and different, I'm revisiting an old friend. The Xiaomi Mi Note 2 has just dropped to $300 price and I wanted to see how well does it hold up, is it worth getting because it has that 5.7 inch OLED, amazing OLED display panel, it's thinner than the new devices, it does have a headphone jack and it does feature a separate audio hardware, a 24-bit 192kHz audio jack as well. So it has better audio than most devices at this price range. And it also has the 4000mAh battery because Xiaomi at the time were competing also with the Mate 8 which had a very good battery life. And while it doesn't pack that well factor as any full display, 18x9 infinity display you want to call it, new devices the OLED panel and the 75% screen to body ratio on the Mi Note 2 are still pretty pretty impressive considering that this is now in the budget or kind of mid-range price category and I have to say that the dual curved glass on both sides doesn't make the Mi Note 2 maybe the most durable device uh, like fall resistant but it's absolutely the most elegant device I've ever held in my hand. It's just so smooth to the touch, shiny, and because of that Gorilla Glass on the back and the front, it just feels so natural. And that metal rim just adds to the touch. It, the silver really complements the piano finish on the device. And while well, I was thinking that it would be pretty much a very, very huge fingerprint magnet, it's quite the opposite. It doesn't attract as much fingerprints as newer glass phones. And I'm very surprised that I didn't have to clean this phone very often and I thought that every time I touch it I will definitely have to leave a fingerprint but I didn't and here you can see absolutely amazing device it's just absolutely amazing and to think that it it is a $300 phone now oh and by the way this does have like a real fingerprint scanner on the front which we can press to unlock which I really really love instead of that new ones uh, which are just capacitive but let's talk more about the 5.7 inch breathtaking OLED panel on the Xiaomi Mi Note 2 I've seen lots of smartphone displays in my days I've used maybe a hundred devices right now and I have to say I've never been taken so much uh, by a device that just offers this amazing uh, quality of the panel the colors are saturated but not over saturated like with the amoled panels and they're also super natural to the look and just incredible that the display doesn't emit hardly any light and so uh, the color tone is just absolutely right spots on and i'm concerned just look at uh, if you're looking any natural scene like i'm viewing here it just appears that it's, it's like you're there it's just very very good and we're looking a more artificial like scene more fantasy oriented this colors is still very much saturated and give you that fantasy feeling you want to get the transport to where you want to transport or oh, and the OLED panel doesn't have a backlight uh, like the LCD so the blacks are really true blacks, blacks and very 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 deep as well just I'm um, absolutely blown away how good the Mi Note 2 is why didn't any everybody buy this phone at the time yes I remember that god awful Mi Mix 1 which had awesome screen to body ratio but was a horrible phone and speaking about black and beautiful the back and camera sensor of the Mi Note 2 uh, just it, it is very very good looking and just very nice to hold in the hand thanks to the dual curved size the phone is not slippery at all like newer glass phones like the Zenfone 3 and the Honor 9 and the Samsung S8 and well this packs the Snapdragon 821 4 gigs of RAM 64 gigs of onboard storage but doesn't have an expandable storage I said it does have all the sensors and this have uh, a separate audio chip which makes it a superb device and the Snapdragon 821 still doesn't disappoint it's just an absolutely amazing performer you can't get a $300 phone that's cost 140,000 points in and two, you just can't at these days. One might argue that you can get the Zook Z2 Pro or whatever, but these phones just absolutely can't compete with the Mi Note 2 when it comes to performance, style and everything. 
the Mino 2 is doing absolutely incredible. All the tasks you throw at it, anything you just click on it to open almost immediately. Very, very smooth experience. Now I'm running the global ROM on this, uh, the 8260 uh, MIUI, um, and it does support plenty of language. Oh, and by the way, I totally forgot this. The Mino 2 packs a lot of 4G bands, so this phone will definitely work in the United States, Canada, Asia, Europe, or whatever. It's just almost as much bands as the Mi Mix 2. So this is a very good international phone as well. But again, talking about the performance, as I said, the Snapdragon 821 is almost as fast as the Snapdragon 835, which is not bad at all. I mean, for $300, just incredible phone. The Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus, um, I think, goes for around 260 right now, 250 which also packs Snapdragon 821 and has that, those gimmicky dual cameras. I'm um, believe me, watch this review later on for the camera because the critics pan this phone very much because of the cameras and I think that they were either paid off or like extremely wrong because we watch my camera review later on. Now let's talk more about the phone here. Right, the Mi 5S Plus in performance will back the same thing and maybe battery life as well since the Mi Note 2 actually delivers absolutely stellar battery life around 6 to 8 hours of screen on time on a single charge and this supports fast charging as well and also doesn't suffer from any overheating. Now back to Mi 5S Plus thing, the Mi 5S Plus may have the hardware but doesn't have the audio, doesn't have that superb elegant touch and the display on the Mi 5S Plus, believe me I've had the phone, I reviewed it, was very good at the time but even then after i was using it i just just really didn't go for it it was just more like a mid-range panel and here you get that amazing oled um, panel so there's plenty of talk about uh, the new pixel 2 and all the burnings from the L uh, lg oled panel i just think that actually google went cheap with the display there i just pulled a fast one on all its clients because the oled panel here on the Note 2 doesn't have any of those issues and have the blue tints yellow tints or whatever which is incredible phone and speaking about audio, here you can check the speaker quality. Oh, did you enjoy that video? That video is amazing, by the way. It's just incredible. And now onto the cameras. The Sony IMX 318 used in the Mi Note 2 um, doesn't feature a large pixel size. It just features an f2.0 aperture and one micron pixels. But for some reason, it it just is an amazing sensor because this is the highest end sensor that uh, Sony actually produced last year. Um, anything you shoot at the end because it has a 23 megapixel sensor just packs so much detail in there and this, the colors are so vivid you can never tell this is not shot by the Samsung S8 or something so in my experience so far with the Mi Note 2 I just absolutely love the camera it does take amazing photos anywhere even in low light which was pretty amazing because it was panned for like really poor low light performance which is absolutely not true as you see later on and I'm showing you photos indoor outdoor punchy colors very good dynamic range just incredible what the camera actually doesn't measure up in today's standard is focusing speed and uh, stabilization of the image so as light goes down the focusing speed comes slow and when there is uh, low low light situations you will get great shots, but you have to wait a good second for the camera to focus on the subject. That's not a problem. And um, the IMX 318 doesn't like you moving too much when shooting a picture. So if you really want to get a great shot, and these are taken without anything, like I don't use tripods, just handheld photos, to know that you don't have to move a lot and you have to have steady hands. The 4K video with electronic instability was also a plenty a good surprise. 
the electronic key stabilization here works just as good as some optical stabilizations I've seen. Sure, it's not as good as the Samsung S8 or the Google Pixel 2 that just came out, but it's still very, very good even in indoor shots. The 4K view on this phone, thanks to the great sensor and very fast Android 821, delivers absolutely amazing results. Um, as light goes down, the camera hints a bit too much for focus uh, in regular shots and in video, so I don't really recommend this as a very low light video phone. The slow motion is absolutely great if it wasn't for the focus hinting, which is played by a lot of phones using slow motion even to this day. The front camera of the Mi Note 2 for me is a very good sense. It's again another Sony IMX 268 and delivers pretty good results. But again, doesn't like you moving too much, uh, but it will take a very good shot if you're steady, even in very, very low light conditions, as you can see here. And the video is absolutely incredible of the front camera in any way you just look at. It. And it does also have some sort of electronic stabilization as well. Originally, I was going to do just a short video of the Mi Note 2, but after I was so blown away about how good it is and how nobody actually picked it up last year, and because it's like ridiculously cheap at $300 right now, I decided to do a full blown review on it, and I hope you like it because I really, really, absolutely love this phone. I love the absolutely great AMOLED display. I love that it has a headphone jack. I love that it has a separate audio chip with great sound. I love that it has a real fingerprint scanner you can touch and press. It's amazing amazing phone sure it doesn't have the ip67 168 watch resistance it doesn't have the best cameras right now on the market but the cameras are actually super good and definitely worthy of 300 dollars i have to say and the mi note 2 is absolutely amazing and it also has a miui 9 coming for it as well with the global rom and this is running the global rom supports lots of 4g bands or practically almost anywhere around the world you have 4g in this it's just an absolutely amazing buy around 300 dollars and i definitely recommend it thank you for watching my minutes review give it a thumbs up if you like it and you can buy the phone from the link in the description below stick around